friends, we are talking about dish soap today. As you are working to get toxins out of your home, you're going to want to take a look in your kitchen and see what you're using on your dishes. Not only can you smell, not only are you breathing in those toxic chemicals as the dishes are being washed either in the sink or in the dishwasher, but those stay on your dishes, the dishes that you and your family are drinking from, eating from, and get into your bloodstream that way as well. Um, Dish soaps are also highly contaminated and they are often greenwashed, meaning they might use white or green labels and have words on the front like clean, clear, green, pure, to make you think that they are absolutely 100% from nature and non-toxic and that is not the case. Um, when you look at the ingredients, you can find toxins like sodium lauryl sulfate, fragrance, which is always a synthetic version of a fragrance, um, phosphates, <laughs> diethanolamine, among others. And the scary part is that there are often ingredients that are not on the label, but they are equally dangerous for you, like formaldehyde. If you saw formaldehyde on a label for your dish soap, would you, would you have your family use that every day? No, but is often in there as a preservative and not required to be on the label. Pretty scary. So when we first transitioned and I started learning about all these things, I would, I, I turned to products in the store that were fragrance free, um, dye free, because those are kind of commonly known toxins, I think, you know, synthetic dyes, synthetic fragrances. Um, but then I learned that just not having a synthetic fragrance or synthetic dye did not mean that these products were harmless to my family. So we found a better option. I'm going to share that with you today and then also share a little hack so I make it last longer for our family so it costs less money. So um, we use Thieves dish soap. Let's talk about the ingredients in this one. Um, it has water, which is the base ingredient, deco glucoside, a plant-derived surfactant for foaming and cleansing, sodium lauryl lactolate, a plant-derived emulsifier and thickening agent, lauryl glucoside, a plant-derived surfactant for foaming and cleansing, caprylyl glucoside, a plant-derived surfactant for foaming and cleansing, sodium carbonate, also known as baking soda, to help clean and remove hard water stains, bergamot essential oil, which helps to clean and lift grease, jade lemon essential oil, which helps to clean and lift grease and stains, and thieves essential oil, which is a synergy that gives a fresh aroma along with stain fighting and cleansing properties to remove grease. It's a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, rosemary, and eucalyptus radiata. I have actually done a whole video on thieves essential oil blends, so check that out if you haven't gotten to it yet. Um, so that is all that is in here. It doesn't have any of the yuck that our bodies have to fight off. And here's a little shopping tip for you also. A lot of big companies have caught on to the fact that a lot of people are getting more into essential oils. So they might put on their label scented with essential oils. That is not the case. That is just a, another code word for synthetic fragrance because labels for essential oils are not regulated. So that is not true. Unless, of course, you're getting from a company that you trust and they are transparent and they follow the rules and so that these are actually good quality essential oils with no synthetics that are in this bottle. Um, it is free from toxic dyes, phosphates, and synthetic perfumes. It is naturally derived grease cutting ingredients, zero harsh chemical residues, gentle on hands, all plant-based, all goodness. This is what we choose to use in our family. So. Um, you can, of course, use it straight out of the bottle, um, but it's a pretty small bottle and I wanted to help it last longer for our family. Also, something to note when you're using more natural dish soaps, they are not going to be foaming and as foamy and bubbly as you're used to. Our brains have been trained that lots of bubbles equals clean, but what makes those big bubbles is something that is toxic to our bodies, the um, different foaming agents that they use. So this is not going to foam up like you're used to, um, but with my hack, not only does it make it last longer for our family, but also it nat naturally adds in some of those 
that bubbling action that we're used to without being toxic to our bodies. So let me quickly show you what I do. I take, um, I will be turning this into two of these big bottles, okay? So it lasts for a long time. What I do is I like to mix it up first in a separate bowl because it's harder to mix the baking soda and different ingredients in the bottom of that big pump bottle, okay? So I just use a half a bottle of this, which so six ounces of the Thieves dish soap. I already put that in here. Um, then I add one to two tablespoons of baking soda, and that's going to help it get a little more bubbly for you. So I'm going to do two. And you'd have to play around with this a little bit. I'm sure it depends on the hardness of your water and all of that. So for us, two tablespoons of baking soda works well one to two tablespoons of pure Castile soap. And I like the baby unscented. It's a little bit more moisturizing and that way I can scent it with my own essential oils depending on what I'm using it for. <clears throat> so I've got two tablespoons of that. Again, that's the amount that works for us with our water. And then one cap of Thieves Household Cleaner. I also did a whole video on Thieves Household Cleaner and you'll see this show up in all of my cleaning recipes that I do. Um, I shared it already in our my laundry soap pack, and here it is in my dish soap, soap pack. So you'll see this a lot. We use this literally everywhere in our home. So Thieves Household Cleaner, one cap full of that in there, and that will help with just, you know, the foaming action and also extra cleaning power. And that is it. If you want, you could add a couple drops of essential oil. Actually, maybe I'll do that. I might do that later. Add a couple of drops of citrus fresh, that would be nice. Certainly not necessary, but you can. And I just use this little whisk and kind of combine it here. It makes it a lot easier than in the bottom of that big container. I'm just trying to get all the, combine it and get all the clumps of baking soda so that it's smooth. And there we go, that's it, it's ready to go. Um, I am just gonna be putting this in a mason jar for now. Let's see because I already have a full bottle of this, so I'm gonna save this for later. So what I'll do is just save this in a mason jar, and when this empties out, this is a 32 ounce pump bottle from Amazon. Although I'm not excited about extra plastic in our house, um, we have boys, so slippery soap and water and glass is just not a good combination, so later on we'll switch over to glass pump bottles, but for now, the plastic 32 ounce ones from Amazon are our best option. Um, so when this runs out, I will just empty this into here and fill the rest with distilled water. We have a Berkey filter, so we just use our Berkey water. Um, and we'll just kind of combine it like this a few times. And it makes a great dish soap. Again, certainly not necessary. You can use it straight out of here, but I like to add those bubbles back in and make it last a lot longer for our family. And when I'm when I first made this, I just peeled the bottle label right off of here and stuck it on here. Easy peasy. Um, that is it. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, reach out. Have a great day, everyone.